What do you do when he says he's not ready for a relationship? However, if he was ready, it would be with you. I received that question and it got me thinking a little bit. The first thing that came to mind was self-worth. Why would we want to choose someone that is not choosing us? Why do we want to be with someone that very clearly has stated to us, open heart or very clearly, at least verbally, I don't want to be with you or I don't want to be in a relationship or I cannot be in a relationship. You know, we get fixated with these fantasies about what life could be and we're missing what life is actually like in the here and now. And the information that's being uh, given, the feedback, is that this person is not choosing you. And so that for me is a sign that if you're still very confused about that, and you're still very attached to the notion of, oh, it could be, if only this, or if only that, if only he could see how wonderful I am, or if only he was ready, then we could be together and have an amazing relationship, potentially. But that's also polarizing the effect of reality of what is happening in the here and now. And the here and now is that he isn't choosing you. And if you're continuously yearning for him to choose you, that's a self-worth issue. That's you not seeing your value. You not believing in yourself. You not carrying enough value and love in who you are to walk away and honor yourself, to make that self-honoring choice, set those boundaries and be clear in who you are. That's the most important thing that needs to transpire in the here and now is that you get clear on your value. If someone isn't choosing you, they don't deserve your energy. If they're not choosing you in the way that you want to be chosen, there's nothing wrong with having an idea or a dream or a feeling about how something could be. But remember, you're one part of that equation. The other person isn't showing up in the way that you need them to, in the way that is self-honoring for you then walking away is probably the, the most self-honoring choice you can make. And as a side note, but really not as a side note, it's something super important, is focusing on why am I attracting unavailable human beings in my life? Or why am I obsessed or concerned with unavailable human beings in my life? because the details of that will help lead you to the core wounding associated with the repetition of choosing people that are unavailable. Maybe it was your father, maybe it was your mother that was unavailable, that wasn't nurturing, that wasn't emotionally present or even was physically absent. That's become your norm and we often attract in our adult relationships what's familiar to try and heal that part of ourselves. The body knows. But when we start to unpack that with greater discernment and clarity of mind, openness of heart, what generally happens is we then negate the need to attract what has always been because we are now healing that at a deeper level. Power and blessings to you. I'll see you soon.